Hey folks, this is Hellbent and welcome to mini tutorial number six. In this one we're going to be looking at the single instance command. I use this command in all my tutorials, so I figured it's about time that we get it out of the way and show everything that we can do with it. Okay, so for this we're just going to create a simple hotkey and I'm going to use control T. So when I do press control T, it's going to do something. What it's going to do is just pop up a message box and we're going to have it say hello. We're going to add in a return and if you look here you can see that there's nothing in this script that's going to automatically exit it once we're done running it. So as soon as we run it it's going to stay running until we actually go on manually exit it. So I'm going to run it. I hit control T and we get our message box hello. And if I look down here in my hidden icons I can see that it's running. So let's say I'm doing testing a script and you're going to want to run it over and over and over again as you make changes to it. So I've just changed something. I save it and I go to run it again while the previous version is still running. What's going to happen? We get this annoying dialog box. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of this annoying dialog box so that way it does it on its own. So all we're going to do is we're going to type in single instance and because I have a nice compiler or, or a script editor it does it for me and then we're going to type in force. And what this is going to do is if we have a previous version of our script running it's going to actually exit that and replace it with our new version. So let's change this to something else. We'll save. So our previous version is still running. Last time we tried this, we got that annoying dialog box. This time if we try, we got nothing, and we got our new updated thing. Okay, so that's the force. So if we don't want that annoying dialog box, and each time we make changes and we want to test those changes, this is the command that we're going to use for that. What if we don't want it to replace our previous version with a new version? So what we need to do instead is we're going to say ignore and we're going to make a little change um, dog and if we save and we go to run it we don't get the dialog box but it's still our previous version our previous version is still running that had the word hi instead of dog. If we want it to actually replace it. What we'd have to, with this ignore command, what we'd have to do is actually go and exit our previous version and then run it again, and we should get our new dog. So that's ignore. And the last one we'll look at is off. And what off is going to do is allow us to run multiple instances of the same script. So an example that I could use for this is let's say if I have something that I want to click. So let's say if I want to click right here, and I also want to click right here, or how about, yeah, okay. So I want to click right here, and I want to click right here. And I have a script where I'm going to tell it that it clicks right here, and then I want to, if I also want to click here, rather than writing a new script or making this script um, be able to do two positions, what I can actually do is just run the same script twice and have one of them set up to run here and one of them set up to run here. So we have our single instance off. We have a version running and if we hit run again we now have two instances. If we run it again we now have three instances of the same script four instances. Let's add a couple more. One, two, three. So we should be up to seven. So we have seven instances all running concurrently of the same script. So that's single instance. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you like these kind of tutorials and you like to keep them coming, be sure to hit that like button. Your support's needed to keep me motivated to do these. So, And I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.